Welcome back. As we earlier said, we're going to be taking a comprehensive look over the important visit that was taken by the Head of State, His Excellency uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi to France and the most important highlights and the outcome of this visit. He was generously uh, and uh, received with respect, huge respect as we've seen in uh, the uh, media outlets by uh, the French President uh, 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 Macron. And uh, details will be unfolded in this uh, very important uh, interview with the, uh, Dr. Zainab Nawar. She's here live with us in the studio, our economic uh, expert and a professor in one of the prominent universities in Egypt. Good morning, Dr. Nawar. Good morning. Good morning, my dear. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. You're staying safe. Let's, yes. let's talk about uh, the Egyptian-French relations in general. Of course, uh, the business relations and economic relations are political also relations. They are detached. So how important is the Egyptian-French economic relations? Um, the importance of the uh, Egyptian-French economic relations, and we are talking about relations since decades, and we are talking about a strategic relation, which is very, uh, and deep also, strategic and deep relation. For the French government and the French people, they, they do like to support and to help Egypt. If you went to France, actually I had a course in, in Montpellier, in Institute of Development, uh, 10 years ago. Mm. You see how the French, they like to develop other countries. They have this sense of developing and supporting countries, and especially for Egypt, because of the cultural, of course, um, uh, ties and also the historical background and the common background we have between Egypt and France. So uh, what actually had, uh, what, what we saw from uh, the French uh, government lately, uh, a lot of support. Uh, if we talk about, of course, trade, there is a trade between uh, uh, Egypt and France. There is uh, a lot of uh, aid we are receiving, uh, an aid, an economic aid from France. Uh, and this aid is targeted to different economic sectors. So um, it's a way that the French people and the French government is, uh, are trying to support Egypt and trying to support the Egyptian uh, uh, government. Uh, in terms of trade, we talk about $2.8 billion in terms of uh, exports and imports. Of course, we are hoping that we would like to export more to France than what we are, import what we are importing from them. Uh, we talk about uh, concessional uh, aid and concessional loans of about one uh, billion uh, dollar. Um, we talk about a lot of uh, what we call a technical uh, aid. Of course, the construction of the underground metro, we all know that the French, uh, those who mainly uh, helped us in terms of providing us with the technical expertise. So when you talk about development, they support us in sectors which, which is actually help us to achieve economic development mm. and economic growth, whether it's in trade, whether it's in development, whether it's in, in economic aid, concessional loans, all of this, what, the, uh, what we call the uh, economic cooperation between Egypt and France. Right. The timing of the visit is very important. Always President Abdel Fattah Sisi have, uh, um, um, uh, let us say, distinguished a talent in choosing the timing of his visits to countries. He chose a very significant time to be able to co be in uh, um, uh, contact with the uh, French leadership. So uh, talk to us about the timing of the visit and the significance of that particular visit after a recent visit by uh, President Macron to Egypt. Yes, and the visit actually of, uh, of the president, of Fatah Sisi, this time it's, it has a, a main, uh, what we say, political target actually. Mm. Um, the timing also of the visit came in, in the time that I, I, I see it, it's some sort of uh, what happened of the cartoon that was not uh, yani telling unpleasant things about Prophet Muhammad. Um, and how the, the President Al Fatah Sisi, in one of his speeches, he explained to, the, uh, to Macron um, how, when you are just respecting human rights, how you should uh, also respect the religious rights and to deal with this uh, sensitive issue. Um, actually, I felt this was a very smart from our president that you explain to others, you explain to 
um, uh, different cultures, different points of views, and instead of just having a chaos, or, and I'm sorry to tell this, and also have these types of sanctions and all what the other uh, yani countries have thought about, it's, this is not the issue. It's about how to talk with them um, how they should respect us and how we guarantee that this will not occur and happen again. This mm. is number one. Uh, number two, of course, um, th there is also, um, if you talk about uh, Rafale uh, fighter jets and the, it's the uh, uh, it's type of uh, uh, the agreement and the, that uh, Egypt is going to uh, buy this Rafale fighter jets. Of course, if we talk about weapons and supporting Egypt, uh, France also is one of the biggest importers of uh, yani, yani Egypt, you, we used to import weapons from France. Uh, so um, also part of this visit, it come to be a political, it has a political side, talking about the uh, interest of the Mediterranean uh, uh, countries and also uh, the uh, process of gas and uh, the resources of gas exploration in the Mediterranean and the east of Mediterranean. All of these are very important political issues, and it come on the tops of the agenda of the Mediterranean uh, uh, countries, especially the European ones. Mm. So the president of Fatah Sisi actually highlighted a lot of things in this uh, uh, visit, political aspects, uh, military aspects. Uh, this also entails economic aspects, mm. and also um, uh, deepening um, uh, the um, Egyptian uh, uh, French uh, strategic uh, relationship which is very uh, important and also have a window of discussion with with them about what they have what they had done and to ensure that this will not happening again in terms of the cartoon that uh, that was telling unpleasant things about Prophet Muhammad and uh, also President Sisi had a very important speech in which he uh, made it clear about how Egypt looks and regards differences in religion and respects other uh, um, um, nations and uh, different beliefs and how Egyptian uh, people have history with civilization concerning differences in religion. Yes, and, and the president also talks about terrorism and fighting terrorism. Exactly. And, and how also um, Egypt is doing a lot of effort mm. to fight terrorism plus ensure economic stability and economic achievement. And this is what actually is doing, it actually is happening now. So it's very important from mm. the president of Fatah Sisi that he is highlighting to the French president and also to the international community what actually happening in Egypt and what we are doing which is very important when, you are try when we are later going to negotiate with them, uh, also to highlight and to tell them what's, what's actually is going on. This is very important for, for, our, for, the, for the Egyptian interests and for our political and even economic interests. And if we are looking for more FDIs after, the, uh, after of course, we, uh, the, the crisis of corona will be ended. Mm -hmm. So give, giving these international messages and also on continuous basis, it's very important for us. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the most important files that were taken in that. I know you talked about uh, the stops and uh, the highlights of the visit, but the most important files that were prepared in the agenda for this visit. The most important one, uh, of course, it was the, um, the political uh, issue of Libya mm. and also uh, what uh, the uh, Erdogan is doing in Turkey and all of these types of, mm. uh, of uh, what we say, it, chaos. He, Erdogan is trying to do it in, in, in the region. It, th this was one of the top, of the top issues. Um, the gas also and the rights of each country to have uh, uh, some sort of gas uh, ex exploration, uh, doing more uh, uh, looking for gas within their borders, mm. this is very important because it's the right for each country is to look for, each, for, 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 it, for their resources. Of it's course. not the right for a country that doesn't have the right in this type of resource just to get it mm. or to do a mutual agreement with uh, uh, whatever uh, um, an unknown or, or unrecognized uh, military uh, leaders in Libya, this is not right. Mm. So um, what is actually the president is trying to bring on the table, uh, the rights uh, for uh, uh, looking for, that Egypt has to look to its resources in terms of gas resources. Um, what is, had been done by Erdogan is not properly uh, uh, right. 
looking for more uh, mutual benefit between Egypt and France, having a discussion with the, Fran with the French side uh, that what happened toward these types of cartoon was not right, um, having a negotiation and agreement on uh, points that is related to mutual interest between Egypt and France, which is very important. Right. And uh, also, if we talk about the economic relations between the two countries, of course, Egypt has a, a strong bond uh, with France when it comes to economic relations. And there are also mutual interests between the con uh, two countries. Also, uh, um, uh, e Egypt is a good market uh, for, uh, for France. So if you'd like to uh, be shedding light over that very particular, very important file, Economic we, we, we have here in Egypt, we have about 160 uh, French companies working in Egypt. Mm. Uh, one of these companies are, uh, is Total. Mm. Of course, they are working in oil and uh, may, mainly in gas also. Um, uh, also, the French side, I think the French side is much, they are so interested for Egypt in terms of investment and foreign direct investment. Uh, what we are doing now in, uh, in ports, enhancement in ports, and also for the uh, Suez Canal economic zone and Suez Canal uh, uh, corridor, that we are trying to attract more investors. And I think that the French investors could be some or, or could be invited for, for this type of investment in Egypt. Um, we are hoping that we w would like to increase our exportation also uh, to uh, France. We do import from France, of course, uh, Rafale, uh, fighter jets, uh, medicine, and other uh, uh, products. Mm. And we mainly and export. And <laughs> part of, of course, uh, huge companies. Uh, and cosmetics. And co cosmetics. Uh, yes, but recently and, and, it became and less. And, and medical also. Medi uh, medicines, of also. course. Mm. It became less recently because that we would like to encourage exportation. I would like to work on uh, the local components of our products versus mm. the foreign components, mm. especially if we're talking about luxury products, which is, you know, we see it as a luxury product, which is cosmetics. And for, mm. of course, for fashion, now we have started to have Egyptians, uh, exactly. companies working exactly. on fashion and, and clothing and all of this. And prevailing even, uh, uh, I mean, reaching United States yes. and Europe, and, <laughs> yeah. uh, most of the fashion uh, capitals and uh, Egyptian designers mm. uh, are prevailing, uh, you know, uh, celebrities are wearing, um, which is very important. Mm. They're good ambassadors to us worldwide. Um, uh, celebrities are wearing, uh, you know, uh, the, um, I mean, the works of some fashion designers, female fashion designers in the United States, uh, very popular celebrities. And even the first lady in Egypt, she is uh, wearing also um, the products of uh, Egyptian uh, fashion designers. She's not wearing any, uh, any uh, foreign yes, yes. Uh, fashion designers. Yes, and we should encourage uh, our local uh, manufacturer. This mm. is very important. And because they are good. They yes, have good taste. Yes, also. yes. It's yes. a good industry here in Egypt. I mean, this is the booming future industry, uh, which is going to be so booming worldwide, the Egyptian fashion industry. We are hoping so. Mm. Um, a subject that the Egyptian manufacturer, they should meet uh, the quality and mm. also they should work on branding for their types of clothing that they are manufacturing. Mm. Uh, what else that we are receiving from France? Actually, we used to have also, if we talk about the economic cooperation between Egypt and, and France, um, aid, and we had received aid in agriculture in, part, uh, in, 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 a, in a certain period. We, we used to have a lot of, of aid to support the agri from the Dutch and also from the uh, French uh, mm. government. Uh, also, we used to have some sort of aid for the supporting the small and medium enterprises. Uh, so we, we consider that uh, France is the fourth largest uh, a country in terms of providing Egypt with economic aid mm. and, and financial aid, which is very also, which is very uh, supportive and which is very good indicator of how we do have a very uh, deep and strategic relations between uh, the two uh, the two countries. Mm. So we do receive from France a lot of economic support and also political support, given the issue of Turkey and Libya and uh, also a military support given um, what we are going to buy from them uh, of the uh, Rafale uh, uh, fighter uh, jets. Uh, also the importance of the timing of this visit that 
um, the president is going to finalize this uh, deal of the Rafale uh, jets uh, before the start of uh, Biden uh, to uh, his uh, to, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, yes, yes mm -hmm. in USA. Y you remember when I just came and I think there there was a. Uh, uh, before the elections and the U.S. elections when I, I just had a view that actually for the Trump administration it was better for Egypt in terms of interest. So I think mm -hmm. that there is a political thing about this timing of this visit that the president uh, would like to uh, finalize this deal which is very important for Egypt. Mm. At this timing. So uh, uh, the France's participation in implementing major projects in Egypt such as transportation, for example. Do, do we have a good space of uh, French pa uh, participation in the field of yes, transportation? Yes, we, yes, we had. Uh, earlier for the underground metro, the French had helped us a lot. Uh, um, it's not about money, it's about providing the technical support, which is much Expertise. important than mm. having money because if you have oh. just the, the aid or the fi financial aid and you don't have the expertise, so you mean that, yes. that if each time they would like to construct another new line for the underground, so you have to ask them to come to you. But the French actually, and they are famous about this, mm. the French aid or the French technical aid, they come to Egypt with like what I call a manifesto, uh, telling you the steps of the work, uh, giving, giving the right expertise to the Egyptian engineers. So once they are leaving, so they just ensure that all of this technical support have been received properly by the Egyptian side. And this is the, the, the most uh, nice and important thing about it, mm. uh, the French, about the, the, the French aid. So if we talk about the French cooperation, so we are just hoping that if there will be more cooperation, especially in the uh, transportation sector and, uh, and also in energy sector, because the French, of course, have an expertise in this, and also they are so advanced. So what we want to learn from them is to get the technology, to get the mm -hmm. know-how from the French. Of course, their support, e either this support will be financial or technical. This, of course, will add a lot to us. And mm -hmm. this is what we should seek to get from them, mm -hmm. to get the technical expertise plus any, if they would like to provide us with unconditional aid, of course. What are the most important and suitable uh, uh, joint fields of cooperation that could boost uh, and uh, encourage and empower the economic development in both countries? Of course, France needs Egypt definitely in some technical fields and some um, uh, um, other fields that Egypt is distinguished with. So from your own point of view, how do you see the joint cooperation in those fields that could empower the economic uh, uh, development in, in both countries? Um, if, if Egypt, if, if we just continue getting this type of technical and financial support from France uh, for uh, uh, main sectors like the uh, transport sector or, uh, for example, small and medium enterprises sector, if mm, you'd like to get from them, so definitely this will help us in growth and economic development. So uh, when there is an economic development for the Mediterranean countries and for a strategic country like Egypt, this also comes with the interest of France. Because at the end, France, they want stability in the region. They want also uh, progress for the, uh, for the countries in the region. So um, once there is an economic development and economic growth in Egypt, this actually has come into the interest of France. So uh, if I talk about Egypt, we can benefit from the, fr from the French uh, government uh, of getting, uh, uh, if we, in terms of economics, more aid, more technical expertise. Uh, I do hope that we want to export more. Actually, uh, during the corona lockdown, we exported a lot of agricultural products to Europe and to France. Uh, we want to continue this type of exportation of this agricultural uh, uh, product mm. and to continue also expan the expansion of exports into France and into Europe. Mm. Um, uh, and, and also we continue getting the uh, technical uh, expertise from them and getting more tourists. Actually, <laughs> we, we want to get more French tourists because of now of Corona. And of course, that will, will, the lockdown in, uh, in Europe and uh, they, they will not come to us. Mm. Uh, so also the expansion of this important sector uh, uh, and getting more French tourists into our lands, also this will help us a lot. So we can benefit, Egypt can benefit a lot, a lot 
from, their stra from our strategic relation with France. Mm. We can get uh, a lot of benefits because the relation and the strategic relation between Egypt and France is not about economic, it's about culture, it's about history, it's, uh, it's about respect, it's about uh, 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 French people who, who truly respects us and respects our history, which is very important. And we can invest on this to get more economic uh, benefits and economic uh, aid from the French. Right, and also uh, uh, French tourism is very much interested in the cultural tourism here in Egypt, and it's, it has its own season. Yes. So yes. we should be working on this. We should You're work more, right. more on this. If you, if you travel to France, uh, when they know that you are an Egyptian, mm. they truly respect you, they like us, they like our culture, they, they, uh, the, the French people, they do like the Egyptians. Mm. And They're looking for a specific type of tourism, French people, I mean, every type of tourist is looking, because we have all types of tourism, talking about mm. tourism. S so, um, I mean, uh, tourism is a very wide specter that would need another episode on the breakfast show on a promise that you come and visit okay, us okay okay of course of course dr course. zainab nawar uh, you are a prominent professor in one of the prominent universities in egypt and you are our economic expert thank you so much for coming thank you, you have thank a beautiful you. day thank you thank you so much and we're going to take a short break and we'll come to continue the breakfast show so stay with us